Now, it would be a little bit weird talking about the Honda Insight without mentioning its bigger, more powerful, larger cousin, the Honda Clarity. But what exactly makes these vehicles different and which one is right for you? Let's talk about the Honda Clarity today and after we're finished talking about it, we'll go into a little bit of an explanation to help you, the consumer, figure out which one of these is better for you. Underneath the hood, we are looking at a 212 combined horsepower hybrid setup. Now, when you get to a full battery charge and you're looking to drive this vehicle, you can operate in electric only mode, netting you north of 40 miles before the vehicle runs out of a charge and would require you to have to switch over to the hybrid setup and use a gasoline engine to complement and power the vehicle going forward. But fear not, even in the gasoline electric hybrid mode, the vehicle still offers north of 40 miles per gallon, which means that economy is still something that is on the minds of Honda when it comes to how the vehicle performs in everyday use case scenarios. For the owner who finds themselves purely within that 40 mile range, as long as you have an outlet at home, fear not. You should be able to drive the Honda Clarity in pure electric mode and not need to fill it up similar to the Chevrolet Volt. Now something that we need to talk about with Honda is that on a lot of their vehicles, they're starting to make Honda Sensing a default option. Now for the Honda Clarity and Insight, Honda Sensing is a default option. While on the Civic, that option will come in at EX and above trims. Now Honda Sensing is a very important technology. What it does is it allows the vehicle to monitor the road ahead to make sure that there are no obstacles that you might interact with. If the vehicle detects that it is entering a collision situation within certain speeds, it will apply the brakes automatically for you to make sure that you do not actually collide with the object in front. Also, lane departure is something that is built into Honda Sensing to make sure that if you're driving and especially fatigued, the car is going to make sure that you stay as safe as possible while operating the vehicle. So naturally taking you inside of the Honda Clarity, we can see that the vehicle's interior is just like the Insight in terms of being designed specifically for this vehicle. The dashboard features wood and what feels like Alcantara accents, which is very nice for a car in this price category, considering that you never really see Alcantara make it to vehicles of this type until you start venturing somewhere north of about $50,000. Now the Alcantara suede kind of material on the dashboard gives the dashboard a very sort of organic feel to it, and it's very fitting to the type of car this is, which takes a lot into consideration for how it interprets environmentalism. In the center we have a touch screen that naturally will provide your navigation and usual visual controls for the radio and other auxiliary systems within the car, as well as being able to tell you what's going on with your climate. Also, similar to the Honda Insight and on new Honda vehicles, the transmission has been redesigned so instead of being an obtrusive lever, which just simply takes up internal occupancy area and also is really unnecessary for the fact that a vehicle like this really only just needs a switch, Honda has decided to do that instead, and I'm sure this keeps costs down without having to exactly skimp on quality. Other than that, the usual two cup holders and a large center console are things that you can expect to find within the Honda Clarity and is usually available on vehicles all across the range of cars that you might be able to buy. So inside of here, you're not really wanting for anything in terms of features that not for anything you can find on vehicles that are comparable but will not give you 110 miles per gallon combined. And here we are in the back seat of the Honda Clarity. Now, I just want to say that the front seat is not pushed up in any way, shape, or form. It is actually more or less where you would expect to find the passenger seat to be. And even though it is still pushed back, I have a considerable amount of leg room, so I do not feel cramped or pushed in at all. And another really cool thing is that the Honda Clarity has a little pocket here which I find very interesting. Not quite sure why they decided to add that one onto the vehicle. And it's not something I've seen in a lot of competitive vehicles, but I guess for people in the back if you're looking to store your gaming console or cell phone or any kind of little knickknacks that you don't want to lose while you're on a road trip, it's nice to be able to have that along with a larger pocket for the usual kind of amenities like you would expect such as magazines, uh, and that's it. Thank <laughs> you.
So moving around to the rear of the Clarity, we have something a little interesting going on here. Now the Clarity does actually beat the inside for cubic volume, 15.5 versus 15.1. However, the Clarity's fold through rear seating, 60-40 split, does not actually allow as many items as the Honda Insight. Reason being, while the Honda Insight is a hybrid vehicle that does not offer dedicated charging, the Honda Clarity is. And because of this, the Honda Clarity is much more heavily focused on its electric setup, which means larger batteries. So while Honda was more or less able to prevent the batteries from intruding into the trunk space as much as possible, it is clear when you put the seats down that you do have less room for passing items through all the way into the vehicle. So let's talk a few things about the Clarity before we end this video. Now the Clarity next to me is a Honda Touring model, which very simply means that it is the highest end model that they offer. This vehicle sits at an MSRP somewhere around $37,000, which means that for its price category, it's very hard to beat. How many vehicles do you know will offer you 110 miles per gallon combined with the battery full, over 45 miles per gallon when the battery is empty and operating in hybrid mode, and most importantly, will be able to give you 15.5 cubic feet of volume space, a lot of room for you and your loved ones, having a very well equipped interior that feels as though it was designed specifically for the car rather than being something parted together, but most of all, have the reliability and the kind of experience you would expect from Honda. So naturally you're looking between the Honda Insight and you're looking between the Honda Clarity and the choice between the two isn't too obvious off the bat. Well let's make this very simple. If you have a way to reliably charge your vehicle at night and you are able to afford the extra bit that it will cost per month to pull off a Clarity, by all means, do not be stupid, get the Clarity. Now for those of you who do not have a reliable way to charge your vehicle or are looking to save money per month, the Honda Insight is still a very competitive car. Reason being is because when this vehicle runs out of pure electric mode and has to switch over to the gasoline engine, you're looking at somewhere around 40 to 45 miles per gallon in terms of its efficiency. The Honda Insight being designed from the ground up to not have to worry about being charged independently means that the system is a lot lighter, is designed to be a lot more efficient in terms of when it works all together, and is reflected in the fact that the Honda Insight brags about being able to achieve 55 miles per gallon in the city. If you have the means to be able to afford a Clarity, and you also have an ability to be able to plug it in, the Clarity is a no-brainer. The reason being is with its 212 horsepower engine versus the Insight's 150, the Clarity should be a performer in terms of acceleration that is no slouch for a hybrid, but also still offer a larger interior, slightly more space in terms of the trunk, much improved miles per gallon when the battery is charged, but mainly can operate entirely in electric vehicle mode when charged for north of 40 miles. But if you do not have a reliable way to charge your vehicle, fear not. The Insight is still a car that is sure to impress. Still offering north of 55 miles per gallon around the city, a back seat that can comfortably seat three people plus the passenger up front making for a total of five occupants that are mostly able to drive around in style and comfort. The Honda Insight is still a choice for those of you who are not looking to spend nearly as much on a Clarity, which in its touring model configuration can be almost $40,000. My name is Richard and thank you so much for joining me today for this review of the Honda Clarity. Stick with me as in the future we will be actually taking these vehicles out onto the road to be able to see them more in depth and get an idea of exactly which vehicles are best for you. If you like my videos, please like and subscribe, and I will bring you more content in the future similar to this, if not better. My name is Richard, and this is Captured Society. Thank you for tuning in, and have a great day.